Yo, 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 this is DJ Prezi. I hope y'all brought your Bibles today. If you forgot, bring it next time. And if you don't have one, ask your leader and they will hook you up. Merry Christmas, everybody. Here's the deal. We're going to put a question up on the screen. And what I'd like you to do is to think about what your answer would be. Now, don't say anything out loud. Just sit quietly and think about it for a minute. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. God loves me because... God loves me because I'm a really good person. God loves me because I read my Bible a lot. God loves me because I go to church every Sunday. God loves me because I'm so cute. God loves me because I'm a go fish guy. God loves me because I have the best of the best. God loves me because he loves me. Any answer you put there besides God loves me because he loves me is wrong. God simply loves you because he loves you. He has known about you and loved you before you were even born. He loved you before you even knew about him. There is nothing you have done or can do to earn his love. And if you didn't have to do anything to earn his love, there is nothing that you can do to lose his love either. Nothing can separate you from the love of God. You see, the problem isn't with God. The problem is with us. We do not love God as much as we should. The first and greatest commandment is to love the Lord your God with all of your heart and with all of your soul and with all of your mind. We've not done that. We've enjoyed things and loved things more than God. And that sin is what keeps us from him. God cannot overlook sin because he is holy and just. Holy means set apart. God is set apart from everyone else because he is without sin. The only way we can be near him is if he makes us holy and chooses us to be set apart as well. There is nothing we can do for him to choose us. He is the only one who can see our heart and know how we truly feel about him. And because of his great love for us, he calls us to be near to him. 1 Peter 2 verse 9 says, But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people belonging to God, that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Because of his great love for us, he sent his son to die for our sins so that we could be holy. Instead of punishing us, God took the punishment. We've been rescued from darkness and brought into the light. There is no greater love than that. Right now, you have another gift to open, a gift that God has given to us and a gift that no one can ever take away. Can you guess what it might be? 